Evaristo Hidon has been the manager at Leesburg Dam State Park in Radium Springs for about the last five years. He's grown into a jack of all trades while working here. I helped plaster this building to build this pathway that you see behind me that we're standing on to, you know, doing the law enforcement, uh, applying for grants and administering grants. Whatever it takes, he says, to make Leesburg Dam more fun to visit. Well, Leesburg Dam State Park has a playground for families to enjoy. But it's what's next to the playground that has park officials and the Astronomical Society of Las Cruces excited. The park now features an observatory with a telescope 16 inches in diameter, able to see faraway images, farther than some of the already impressive images captured by local Astronomical Society members. Ron Kramer has been wondering about the night sky ever since a cloudy night in Brooklyn. He was five years old. But I looked up at the sky and I saw what appeared to be uh, just a giant clock in the sky. And I asked my mom, she, I don't know what that is. I asked my dad, he didn't know what it was. So I asked my teacher and he said, oh, it was probably the moon. Meteorology led to astronomy and today Kramer is the president of the Astronomical Society of Las Cruces. The original concept was that our society was going to pay for the materials and that the park would build the observatory. But instead, the park system paid for the structure and NMSU provided a telescope that was no longer being used. And I just figured that it's a great opportunity for our visitors to enjoy the park at night. Hiron also gets to design the park's programming as manager. You know, that, that is one of the reasons that a lot of folks come out here is to enjoy the night sky. We have had uh, numerous stargazing parties prior to this observatory that were a success. And so that told me that there was a high interest for these type of programming. Kramer and the Astronomical Society decided Leesburg Dam would be close enough to Las Cruces to encourage visitors, but far enough away from a constellation you may not be familiar with. Uh, El Paso Nebula. That's because it's not exactly a constellation. Uh, what a lot of other people call it is the light dome. Increased light from the city obscures some of the night sky to the south. It's also known as light pollution. It can reach over 90 degrees from side to side. Here at Leesburg, it's less pronounced while still being a short drive from Las Cruces. Instead of being 90 degrees wide, it's only about 60 degrees wide. So it's much smaller compared to the big one we had. As the summer heats up, Hidon and Kramer will be rolling back the roof at night so families can come enjoy the stars through a new lens. Maybe even a five-year-old will be there and look up and ask his mom and dad and teacher what it is he's looking at. In Radium Springs, I'm Sloan Patton for KRWG News.